We are from George Harris School, and today we have a presentation about marine pollution. It has been thought that until recently the ocean was so vast that it was impossible to pollute. But now we are beginning to realise the repercussions of the catchphrase, the solution to pollution is our issue. 50 million plastic straws and bottles are thrown away every day. In the sea, there's many types of pollution rubbish, oil, chemical, and sewage. Everything we flush down the toilet ends up in the sea. In 2003, more than 17,000 coffee bottles ended up on the beaches in the UK alone. The UK uses more than 5 million tonnes of plastic. In 2003, more than 50% of litter found on the beaches of the UK was plastic. And birds and turtles think it's food and can't digest it. So they believe that their stomachs are full, so therefore they don't eat anything and they starve to death. But we can help by using local shops and buying local products, meaning there are so many car ships shipping unnecessary plastic across seas. Other ways is that we can never drop litter. Recycle all rubbish in recycling bins, because there's all over the city there's recycling bins. Um, and also buy a reusable shopping bag so they um, disintegrate easier. We're going to talk to you about soil pollution. Soil is the foundation of our food system. They are the main resource for our food, but soils are under pressure from population growth, pollution, and higher demands for the use of land other than food. But unfortunately, plastic amount over the past 65 years has increased to about 8.3 billion tonnes. Because of the increase of plastic, most foods are not able to grow because the plastic is blocking their way. Chlorinated plastic can release harmful chemicals into the soil, which can seep into water supplies and also the ecosystem. This can cause a range of harmful effects on peop the people and animals that drink the water and eat the food that is produced. The Food Agriculture Organisation predicts a rough 50% increase in food production by mid-century to meet growing global demands. How can we help? We can buy biodegradable products and reusable cups and bags. Buy products that have little packaging so that you're not harming any of the animals or people. Thank you for watching our talk on marine pollution and our talk on soil pollution.